Why were you by yourself? I walked in at the wrong time. Got it. What are you going to do about it? Sit here, feel sorry for you. Stand up and find someone. What's going on? Ask someone. Hey, who is here alone? There's someone raising their hand over there. Go find them. Once more, it's this proactivity, this spark of life. This is the one environment where you're not a pathetic, sad battery in the matrix. For real, it's like, daddy, do it for me. Gonna sit here till daddy comes and saves me. Daddy bird, puke in my mouth. Puke in your own mouth. <laughs> It is funny, right? We're all adults physically, yet mentally, very few people have ever graduated childhood. And we still think that the more we whine, the more we complain, the more we throw a tantrum, whether it's in person, whether it's online, somehow someone's going to come and save us. No one's coming to save you. Trust me. No one cares if you succeed or if you fail. Personally, and this can sound harsh, I will go above and beyond to help you. Beyond that, beyond what's in my control, if you don't take action on it, I will not lose an ounce of sleep. Your friends will not lose an ounce of sleep. Your family will not. You'll see it. You might have already seen it. Your family will start helping you at first and caring about your sad little problems. And then after a while, you're going to start being labeled as that. Well, that's just Gary with the problems. Problem Gary. As the years go on, are they going to lose sleep over it? No. no, it's like it is what it is. Do you lose sleep over every homeless person you see in the street? No. Does it still break your heart? Yeah. Do you, do you, do you like think about it all the time? No. You're like, this sucks, but you slowly start living in denial. Your friends will do that. Your family will do that. Everyone you know will do that. That's the solution. Like That's the end point of a victim. Someone, please, it's so hard. Friends, you know how hard it is for little Gary? Help little Gary. They'll try. They'll try to show you the way. And you're like, but can you not just show me the way? Can you do it for me? No, Gary. We have our own stuff to deal with. We don't have time for you, little Gary. Oh, but please, please just do it for me. Nope. Papa, Mama, will you do it for me? Little Gary needs help. You're not too anymore, Gary. We have our own stuff to deal with. We're getting old. Society, government, Trump, Biden, little Gary needs help. Here's your little stimulus check. That's it. I need more than that. No, little Gary. <laughs> Vomit in my mouth, baby bird. No. And literally, you'll take on that identity. People will view you as that. And after a while, they'll live in denial, and it is what it is. A sad and dark yet quite realistic quote from the show Mad Men. You're born alone and you die alone. You're born alone and you die alone, and this world just drops a bunch of rules on top of you to make you forget those facts, but I never forget. Now, there are different paradigms, and there's different advice for every paradigm. This is a very, you could say, individualistic, harsh perspective. A quite sad one, but for someone who's in a victim, like, do it for me mindset, it's what you need to hear. It's, hey, you can complain as much as you want. No one's coming to save you. No one's going to lose sleep over you. No one's going to do it for you. Cry to the universe. The universe doesn't care. You're not the only one who goes through hard times. You're not special. You're not this unique little snowflake. Go watch the movie Fight Club and step it up. For the person, for you, where I'm like, go find someone, that there is an act of charity on my end. It's an act of pity on my end. I hope it helps you, but it might not, because it might actually train you to think that someone's going to save you. I should have just let you sit there in your own spit, just waiting, like, vomit in my mouth, vomit in my mouth, and just take it as everyone else does the exercises. I hope this wakes some of you up. But hey, let's all put on a smiley face and move on to exercise number two, huh? <laughs> By the way, this can sound harsh, but no joke, this is true self-help. We're conditioned to think that self-help is posting a few little motivational quotes online. A lot of people think that. Right? It's like, look, you can do it. Dream it, Gary. <laughs> Someday someone will spit in your mouth, Gary. The truth, 
like the harsh advice, the advice that helps, that changes lives is, hey, do it or not, it's on you. I'll show you the way if you want to. If not, fuck you. It's harsh, but that wakes people up. It's not pandering to coping. It's not pandering to victimhood. It's not pandering to thinking small. And I wouldn't just say this to you, I'd say it to myself. I have said it to myself. I've also heard it myself. No joke. Any of you know uh, Derek Moneyberg? I met him 11 years ago. He was in LA, it was at Owen's place. First time I ever met him. Love the guy. We disagree on many things, but I love him and respect him tremendously. First time I met him, that was when I first moved to LA, and I had a little bit of little Gary in me. No joke. And I remember sitting on the floor, I don't know why I was sitting on the floor, <laughs> sitting on the floor at Owen's place, and he was on the couch, and I was asking for advice, and it kind of came off as a little baby bird type of thing. Like, hey, you know, Derek, what would you do for him? Like something like that. And he told me, like, dude, if that's your mindset, my advice to you is move to San Fran and become a male prostitute. <laughs> no joke. He'll confirm it. That's the first thing he said to me. He's like, dude, just go be a male hooker. If that's where you're at, if that's your mindset, that's the best you can hope for. Good luck. That's how harsh it was. That woke me up. That was my... Oh, little Gary, spit, spit, spit. And instead of spit, I got shit in my mouth. <laughs> and I woke up, took massive action, and our conversations changed massively since then. Respect is something that's earned. You don't just get it by default. I'll teach this to my kids, my daughter, no exception. This isn't me trying to be mean. It's me trying to wake you up. Hope it works. Like this program is such a game changer. The way everything's structured and the material, it's been already even for me, it's just been, I'm noticing a crazy change in, in the way that my whole life's like playing out. What you put together is just incredible. There's nothing like that. I've just jumped like a million levels. It's just been a complete 180 for my experience of existing. That's awesome. <laughs> it's just been so huge in terms of so many of the things I'm finally understanding and realizing and epiphanies I'm having. What you do is a huge inspiration to me and I think it's one of the most beautiful things you can give to another human in this entire world. You saved my in life, man. I'm telling you, that's, this is real, man. Sometimes all it takes is just one person who believes in you. Find people who are where you are in life and model them, work with them. I would not be here if I didn't have people who held me accountable. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt a click and things are changing. This program was just top notch. Seriously, like this is a masterpiece. This is, this is perfect. Everything, the way it's set up, the live calls, like all the support from the coaches is incredible. It's, it's been nuts. I just have my tears of joy. This was the best decisions I ever made. Thank you for creating something wonderful like this. This program was phenomenal. This program was, uh, was amazing. This program has definitely changed my life. I know for a fact I'm in the right place. This is exactly what I was expecting from the program. It's been uh, spectacular. I feel really lucky to, to have found you. Thank you so much, Julian. It's, uh, it's worth every dollar.